Hi, I'm George Foster Jones. I'm Managing Director of Thought Technologies. Thought Technologies designs, creates, engineers a range of premium power protection and filtration products. Designed mainly at the home entertainment, audio, hi-fi and top-end computer market segments. All of our products are made to meet the Australian New Zealand standards. So if reliability and quality is important to you, then please check out our Smart Series range. Okay, when you're buying a power board or power protection, what are the important things to look at? First of all, you've got to look at how quickly the, the product reacts to a spike or a surge. Obviously, the less time that you're exposed to that dangerous spike or surge, the better off you're going to be. The next thing is to find out the clamping voltage. How much energy does it allow through before it does anything? So, we'll go first of all to the reaction speed. All of the Thor range react in less than one nanosecond. That's the closest thing you can have to instantaneous on paper. You'll find other boards out there react for anything from 3 to 5 to 20 nanoseconds. Way too slow when you're talking about protecting sensitive electronics. The clamping voltage is the other thing, is how much energy does it allow through. Again, Thor range, 275 volts. Some competitor boards out there can let anything from 350, 610 or 710 volts through. By the time you've had 710 volts go through your equipment, you're probably looking for your phone book to call a repairer to do some repair work for you. The other point is how much energy can the protective board uh, absorb before it gets damaged. The higher your rating of your joules and your amps, the longer the product will last. So look at the joules, the reaction speed and the clamping voltage. And from there you will get the best possible protection in the shortest period of time. Filtering. Let me just explain to you what the difference is between dynamic active tracking, uh, cascade filtering and passive filtering. Most of the boards on the market that you'll find will have what we call passive filtering and that's basically what our entry level, the C2, uh, the E145 and the D145 have. Then we look at our top of the line which is what the A12 has, it's got the dynamic active tracking filtering which basically means that it filters the greatest range of uh, frequency noise. That can fix things like set top box scrambling, provides a crisper brighter picture on your LCD plasma projectors, reduces the noise that can be um, heard from hissing noise from speakers, thumping from subwoofers and, and other electrical interference that is fairly common out there. Cascade filtering is basically 20% less in frequency filtration than what the act dynamic active tracking is. And then the passive filtering is again 20% less, so about 40% from the active filtering uh, difference in what it, it can clean up. So the A12 for instance which has a dynamic active tracking, our DRM95 and our CM90s have the best chance of fixing an electrical noise issue. Once the protection has been exhausted in uh, all the Thor Ranger boards it actually stops the power going through the board. So that's how you know if your jewels have all been exhausted and it's no longer able to do any protection there is no power allowed through the boards. Some of the competitor boards won't do that so you, you need to really have a look at the LEDs on it or uh, something on those lines and quite often the boards are in a cabinet or in, in an inaccessible place and not really functional to go around looking at it. PS10, Smart Power Station. Just turn it on. Smart Power Station is designed to deliver pure pristine power 24-7. As you can see, it had a slight delay before it started up. This is a second protection strategy that we've developed into the product. Uh, just before or just after a power outage, that's when most damage occurs. So what we've done is we've designed this product so that it doesn't turn the power on for at least six seconds to anything that's plugged into the back. How it works is we've got an incoming display. In this example, there's only 194 or 193 volts coming on the input. We have our out, which are the load, which is there's nothing plugged in at the moment, so there's no load. And then we've got our 240 volt output. So the power's being completely cleaned, conditioned. So any equipment that's plugged into the back of it is getting pure pristine power. We have a delay start function, which I've explained to you already. Uh, standard is six seconds. We can set that to 180 seconds if we like. And with the LCD display, we can either turn off the backlight or, or turn it on. Very simple. We have a reset button. We have the power in. We have a, a button here that can switch from 240 volt to 220 volt output. And then around the other side here, we have an earth connection. So if you need to put it into a rack, you can uh, earth 
the power station to the rack quite easily. Connected to, we also supply this 8-way A12 smart board, which has a special IEC connector designed specifically for the power station. The A12 smart board. The A12 smart board is included with the power station, so you can plug up to eight devices on it. It's rated at 10 amps, as is the power station, so as long as you don't draw more than 10 amps of the combined load, there'll be no problem. Features and benefits of the A12 is we've got this, we've got three isolated banks. We've got a single outlet, a bank of three, and a bank of four. This is a complete circuit isolation. So if you plug a vacuum cleaner into this outlet and your amplifier into that, there will be no crosstalk between the two. On top of that, we've got protection uh, for coax and F-type, so for your pay TV type connectors, we can protect the aerial, and we've also got data protection here for modems, broadband, and telephone lines. There's an earth loop hum reducing feature with all of our products. In this particular one, we have five separate earth lines, which also helps with eliminating crosstalk and noise. And another feature of the product is the dynamic active tracking, which means that we can clean a lot of low-level hissing noise, flickering of the screens, uh, we can improve picture clarity all with the uh, active filtering technology inside this board. PS20, smart power station. 20 represents 20 amp, which means that it's got to be hardwired in by a licensed electrician. Because it's a 20 amp unit, We've got it designed into a rack mount application and we include our DRM95 which has the dynamic active tracking filtering in for single and three phase applications. The dynamic active tracking allows double filter trap so that the power station is also cleaning and producing pure pristine power but the, the dynamic active tracking with the DRM95 adds the extra uh, ability to clean out uh, interference, electrical interference. We just come around the back of the uh, of the unit. We basically have uh, three wires in, three wires out, so they, we've done this so we can terminate to whatever connection type you need. Uh, so uh, again, an electrician can terminate it to whatever the application. Again, you've got the option to switch from 220 volt to 240 volt if you needed your 220 volt output. And we've got the earth connection here for the rack uh, installation. A12 smart board. A12 smart board is our top of the line uh, board. Uh, the reason for that it has the dynamic active tracking which filters basically the most frequencies out there so the chances of it fixing a problem uh, of electrical noise or, or, or something on those lines is far greater than say uh, a product with a passive filter in it. The other feature is it's got three isolated banks. You've got a single outlet, a bank of three and a bank of four. The reason why you want to isolate your components is to stop any crosstalk or interference um, from various components. So if you plug your amplifier into the isolated bank and you plug a vacuum cleaner into there, there will be no crosstalk. They won't talk to each other. Apart from the high level of protection that the board offers, we also have the aerial for your standard coax and pay TV type connectors. And also on this side, we've got network, uh, broadband, data, and also telephone line protection. On the protection side of the aerial and the telephone, there is no filtration, it is simply protection, whereas with the uh, AC circuits, it is protection and filtration. Comes with a six year warranty, made with flame retardant compounds in the plastic, so it won't burn. You can get an oxy torch, torch put it on, and you take the torch away, it'll extinguish the flame. It's just another feature of our products made to a particular standard. All meet the Australian New Zealand uh, standards and compliance and therefore quality and reliability are more important than price. B12R, the green board. Green board, same sort of connections as our A12. We've got some wide angle plugs here, so with those larger plug adapters, you've got a little bit extra space. But what makes this board unique is a cascade filtering. We've got uh, two banks, so there's this, this bank of four and that bank of four are completely isolated from each other. Uh, the cascade filtering also helps improve with picture quality and cleaning, uh, making sure that equipment plugged in here gets absolute clean power. But it's this little remote switch plug that we have developed which allows us to turn one of the banks off, in this case the little green banks, so 
if you wanted to save on standby power you simply depress the button it would turn this bank off because most of the time these boards are behind a cabinet or pretty inaccessible places it has the ability to protect the aerials and the telephone modems uh, and, and network connections as well we've also got a two USB chargers so if you need to charge your phone camera and that sort of gear we've got the ability to do that and behind the switch we show you where you can actually have where you've got power coming to to the button and the USB charging as well when you turn depress the button to turn one of these banks off the uh, on LED turns off so that you know that this bank is in shutdown or standby saving mode 11 which stands for our smart rack guard 11 basically it's because it's got 11 outlets we've got seven uh, Australian pin connections here and then there's four IEC on the back which I'll show you in a second we've got a reset button here and we've got two LED lights when the LED lights are on that means that the RF 11 has been exposed to a surge and you need to have a replacement it does have a six year free replacement warranty with it the on off button is simply to allow power to the outlets or not there are two separate circuits hence the two LED lights this is the only product in our range that will not turn the power off once it's hit a surge. The main reason for that is because in rack mount uh, situations you don't want your whole rack being turned off. We've got four IEC connectors here um, and just the long two meter cord to connect into the rack application. One forty-five uh, is our smart filter. It's a seven way board and it has IJ45 so you've got network broadband protection for mainly in a computer type environment it does have passive filtering inside it one of the features of our products is every product has uh, filtering as well as the high level of power protection against spikes and surges it does come with a six year free replacement warranty it's one of the highest rated boards in its class on the market in the, in the fact that it can absorb the most joules which means it'll last longer against a spike or a surge Smart Protect 4. This is one of our newest products. It's got four outlets, uh, a flat plug like our C2, and then on the back we've got uh, protection against data, telephone, broadband, and aerial protection with coax and also for the pay TV connectors. Uh, you'll see there's only four outlets, but we've also included a, a wider angle plug for those bigger transformer type plugs where you quite often lose space. So hopefully that doesn't happen here comes with a six year uh, free replacement warranty, comes with a connected equipment warranty and it also has a passive filter technology inside. The earth loop hum feature is in there as well because we've got separate earth line for the mains AC power as well as the DC circuits. And this is our C2, it's a smart filter duo, it's a two outlet, it's got a flat head plug as you can see in a one meter cord, designed for space conscious places. It has an earth detection and a power light LED light as well, so make sure that you have a good earth protection in it. On the back here you can mount the uh, C2, we've got a little template on the bottom that helps you find the mounting places, so if you want to put it in a cupboard or behind your fridge or freezer you can do all of that as well. Smart Filter 8. Smart Filter 8 is also an 8-way board, as the name suggests. What this board does is it has two isolated banks, so you've got a bank of four and a bank of four. The reason why you want to have isolation is so you do not get crosstalk between components. For example, if you plug a vacuum cleaner into here and you had a computer or an amplifier in here, you don't want them talking to, to each other, and that's what will happen with the isolation. It also has cascade filtering in it, which has about 20% less filtering uh, capability than our dynamic active tracking that you find in our A12. The protection is uh, against surges and spikes uh, is massive in this board it's a it's one of the uh, leading uh, boards in the industry and it's also got protection for your aerial for your pay tv and the normal coax aerial as well as the rj45 for data uh, networking broadband and telephone line protection here we have a range of our hardwired products we've got uh, the drm95 uh, which comes in a 20 and a 30 amp um, size and then we have the CM90. This particular unit is the 20 amp version and we've 
put up this little demonstration just so that it's easier to see the sort of applications. This would be in a single a single phase application, but we, we can um, put the DRM95s in a three phase uh, arrangement as well. We just use um, 120 amp unit on each phase. The CM90 is rated at 16 amps. Both products have our dynamic active tracking filtration in it, as well as the high level of protection against spikes and surges. Both of them come with a six year free replacement warranty.